Sarah is a 22-year-old woman coming in for asthma treatment. This clinic uses the ESPERT model, which stands for screening, brief intervention, and referral for treatment. ESPERT is an effective approach for helping patients at risk for substance abuse. In this video, you will see how each member of the medical team plays a role in helping Sarah during her medical appointment. Good morning, how can I help you? Hi, I'm Sarah and I'm here for my 10 o'clock appointment with Dr. Rossman. Okay, I see you here on the schedule. While I check you in, let me give you our annual screening form to better serve you. Uh, it includes a few questions about your health that we ask patients every year. Okay. The annual or brief screen is given to all adult patients once a year. Patients who score positive qualify for a full screen. A nurse reviews the brief screening form and gives a full screen to patients who score positive. The full screen measures severity of substance use to indicate if a brief intervention or referral to treatment is needed. Sarah scored positive for alcohol use in the brief screening form and was given a full screen to measure the severity of her substance use. Hello, Sarah. How are you? Hi, Dr. Rossman. I'm fine. And you? Doing just well. Thank you. So we're here for a follow-up appointment for the asthma treatment that you started a month ago. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Well, tell me how the treatment's going. Oh, you know, it's going pretty well. I really like this. So I see you filled out one of our annual screening forms on alcohol use. Do you mind if I go over it with you? No, go right ahead. Okay, great. Answers on the full screen are totaled and a zone of use is circled at the bottom. Okay, Sarah, so I scored up your total and uh, your score here places you in zone two, which according to my guide here, places you in the risky zone of use. Now, it's considered risky because even though you might not be experiencing any consequences now from your drinking, uh, there is reason to suggest that maybe sometime down the road you would experience consequences such as health issues or maybe accidents. So what are your thoughts on that? You mean risky? I've never thought of my drinking as risky. I have two to three glasses of wine each night after work. Okay. So it's kind of a way for you to kind of round out the day at the end. Okay. Um, so... Yeah, I'm a little surprised it would even flag on that form. I mean, I may be drinking a little more than I was last month, but I haven't had any major problems because of it. I understand. So it's not something that you are maybe ready to change about this part of your life. Okay. Well, um, you know, one of the things that we have indicated here in your records is uh, we show a little bit of a weight gain, which, you know, could negatively impact breathing or asthma. Tell me what you think about this. We have a behavioral health specialist who could maybe talk with you for a few minutes, um, ask you some additional questions, see if there's any information that you should be aware of. What do you think about me introducing him to you? I guess that's okay. I mean, what kind of questions will he ask? How long will it take? Okay, well, his name is Dr. Wilson, and he's part of the medical team here. Um, he'll just ask some questions about your use of alcohol and provide you some additional information. Um, it should take no more than five minutes. So what do you think? All right, but I do have to leave right after that. Okay. Well, I'll go get Dr. Wilson. The physician returns with a behavioral health specialist who is part of a medical team and can collect additional information about Sarah's use of alcohol. When behavioral health services are integrated into an outpatient setting, it makes it easier to introduce patients to additional support. Hey, Sarah. This is Dr. Wilson, and he'll just meet with you for a few minutes. So you and I are all done. When you're done with him, you're free to go. I look forward to seeing you at your next appointment. Thanks, Dr. Rossman. Hi, Sarah. I'm Dr. Wilson. I work with Dr. Rossman here. I help any patients here that are looking to make a change to their health. Is it okay if I talk with you for a few minutes? Yes. Okay, great. Dr. Rossman told me that you've been drinking about two to three glasses of wine each night. I want to understand a little bit more about your alcohol use. Um, what are some of the things that you like about drinking? Well, I really enjoy the taste of wine, and it's something my boyfriend and I can do together. Okay, okay. What do you not like about drinking? Well, my weight has gone up recently because of it. In fact, I may be drinking a little too much each night. Okay. So, you do enjoy the shared time with your boyfriend, uh, and you've also noticed some weight gain as well. Dr. Rossman told me that he spoke with you about some of the, the health consequences for your, for your alcohol use. Given how much you are drinking, my recommendation is, is that you do cut back, but it has to be important to you. 
on a scale of zero to ten, with zero being not important at all and ten being very important, how important is it to you to cut back on your alcohol use? Hmm, I'd probably say a four. A four? Why that number and not like a one or a two? Well, I have gained weight and my boyfriend has started teasing me about drinking more than usual. Okay. Why, why a four and not something higher like a nine or a ten? Well, it is something that we do together and we enjoy and it's a time of relaxation for us. Okay. So on the one hand, you really do enjoy that, that time with your boyfriend. But on the other hand, you've noticed some of the, the feedback you've gotten from him and as well as the weight gain. Where does that leave you? Well, I guess I could focus on the times that we had fun where I was drinking less wine. And I know that Dr. Rossman is concerned about my weight gain and the possible effect it could have on my asthma. Okay, I see. Let's say you started to make a, a change. Maybe this week or, or next week. What kind of steps would you take to cut back on your use? Well, I could limit myself to one glass of wine each night or purchase fewer bottles at the store. Would you be willing to do that this week? Yeah, I can do that. Okay. I think that's a great plan. Uh, in fact, I, I fully support you and, and I believe that you, you could do that. I'd like to talk with Dr. Rossman about this plan and um, follow up with you maybe over the phone or at your next medical appointment. Would that be okay with you? Sure. Okay, great. Let's the clinician performs the brief intervention and then documents the screening results and brief intervention in the medical record. He shares the results with the physician and follows up with the patient. Each member of the medical team plays an important role in helping patients at risk for substance use problems. ESPERT is an effective tool for identifying and treating such patients.